Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering, Chandelar Modern Version. You ready to do some dungeon runs? Cause I sure heck am. Uh, there's one right here, and just based on its shape, I believe it's the Dungeons of Grasskeep. At least that's what I'm hoping for. If it's not, it's bizarre. Uh, it contains small white creatures. I adjusted the deck slightly to have some white heat in there. And, uh, we're just gonna go do it. We're just gonna go do it. Oh, Dungeon of Grass Keep. I was right. Uh, Crusades effect. All white creatures get plus one, plus one. That might be a pain to deal with. But I'm hoping that my deck is strong enough at this point that I can actually defeat many of these dudes. More importantly, you get a wall of water next duel. Hell yeah. I will never be defeated. Do any of these look like they're going towards where treasure is? I don't think here. Maybe past that lady. Go for that lady. Now, let me check here first. Oh, oops, I didn't even see the dice there. Hide for elemental. I guess that's better than Wall of Water. All right, let's try to beat her. And I did, I do have stuff in the deck to help me with gaining extra life. My mulligan is a paralyzing grasp. That's acceptable. Let's see, I've got three mana, delusions of mediocrity for extra life, and some okay spells. And I got that Tide Force Elemental, so I can start off with some mad damage right away. So, take that. Because it did say life loss carries over. So I actually kind of want to play the Delusions of Mediocrity before I even, uh, before I defeat her. I should have played an island at some point. Take this. Oh yeah, you blocked. Cadaver Imp. Get back that Tide Force Elemental. And I got 1-1 one, one Flyers. Oh, you also have Stealer Secrets. That's fun. Uh, let's go the Abyssal Spectre. I realize I'm having to pay one life for that black off my salt water or sulfur springs. Hey, she cast Illusion of Mediocrity. That's my thing. Damn it. Well, here, Dungeon Geists. Tap down your Stealer of Secrets forever. And I can hit your hand and make you discard a card. Uh, please choose the Abyssal Spectre. There we go. Got it. And you lose Paralyzing Grasp. What? You also have Dungeon Geist? You Dungeon Geist by Dungeon Geist? What is happening in this match? Cast Olivia. I'll just chill. Triskelion? Why are you so close to my deck? Is it my deck? You must be playing my deck. Right? You just happen to have Crusade. You're shooting Olivia twice. I'll respond by activating Olivia to deal a point of damage or something. Probably just to the Triskelion. So if he tries to activate it more, it'll die. Yeah, this is just... I'm facing myself again. Like, I don't know why they got me so confused for a while. That'll give me a point of life. I could take that Triskelion right now. I'm also safe to attack. All right, I'll play my Delusions. Get my 10 life, so now I'm up to 24. 
Taskmaster way on my cadaver imp. This is actually enough to kill the cadaver imp or is it gonna hit me? Nope, it hit me. And then you shoot the cadaver imp. Sure, I will respond by activating Olivia. Deal one damage to your dungeon guys. Why the dungeon guys? Because now I can activate Olivia. Well, hopefully, we'll see if this works. Gain control. Uh, black, black, colorless, 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 black target vampire, dungeon guys. Nope. Well, I can therefore only conclude that that function of Olivia doesn't actually work. Which is a bummer, but also not the worst thing in the world. Because her ability to deal with something one damage directly and just gain power off of it is still super worthwhile. Especially since I can use this to win. Alright, kill you. Just die. And I'm walking out of there with 23 life. Tight. Oh boy. Got this dice. Another plus two life. Get the Dreadbird Shaman next rule. That's fine. Dreadbird Shaman is a 3 1 that I put into the deck, and when it dies, it forces the opponent to discard a card. So I'm basically using it to trade up and more or less get a two for one. Like take out whatever creature and force them to lose a card. Let's go this way. Oh, my auntie is Neferox, though. That's scary. The Crusader starts first. I do start with Dread Bridge Shaman in hand. I have Divination. Keep. Abu Jafar. Whenever he dies, destroy all creatures block blocking or blocked by it. They can't be regenerated. So it's like a death touch, but not really. Should I? I attack here. No, I'll hang back. If he attacks, I can take one. Second Crusade. Oh boy. Uh, I can cycle the Icar Slick, which would help me get. Might help me find another Black Source. Uh, now I'll block. Cast Morale Attack and Creature get plus one, plus one during the turn. Gagam discards Soldier Replica. Down to two cards in hand. You're spending your hand. Okay, I'm going to cycle this. If I can find a swamp, great. That's how I am. Yeah. Lightning Bolt. Fuck. Island Divination, drop two cards. On the swamp! Discard the. I also have Talar's Bane in here, which allows me to look at their hand, choose a green or white creature from it, force them to discard, and I'll gain life equal to the toughness. Their hand's a bit empty, so I don't know how helpful that is is going to be from this point on. Probably just ditch the... What? I can't cast Olivia or Lightning Bolt because I don't have a mountain. I can place Swamp Dark Ritual Triskelion next turn. Uh, let's screw the tide for time. Rainbow Knights. Randomly gets protection from... Is that blue? I think it's blue. Oh, Dungeon Geist! I don't want to do, do this. I don't want to do this. It's a 4-3 that can... This is one of those Chandelar-only cards. Because it does, like, the random bullshit. Alright, I cast Dark Ritual, it brings me up to 6 mana. I can play both Talara's Bane and the Dreadbridge Shaman. Yeah, let's do that. Just you. You have Dust to Dust and Eye for an Eye. 
Post Dust to Dust, exile two artifacts. So that actually ruins your skeleton. That's not good. At sorcery speed. Eye for an eye is next time a source of your choice would deal damage, you instead deal that to the source's owner. Okay, well, we'll bring out the Dreadbridge Shaman to at least 6 3 first strike. Lock. Time to discard another crusade. Oh my god, my mana is just not working out. Like, that is blue, right? Protection from blue? Yep. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so then you. And for the time being, I'm just gonna get beat up by the Rainbow Knights. Another Dark Ritual. No, this, no, 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 this works. Cast Dark Ritual, I get plus three additional mana. I can then cast Triskelion. Yeah. And then activate him three times to go pew! Again. Pew! One more. Pew, pew, pew! Kill you! Ha! Ah, okay, good. Good. Suck me. There we go. All the Crusades. If you can't do anything else, I'm gonna beat you up. Eye for eye to Dungeon Guys. That happened at some point, that's fine. Oh! Murder. It's down to three. One more swap. Do I have any other way of quick getting some life before this is over? I don't think so. Okay. Get plus one life. Plus one life. Dungeon guys next duel. Treasure. All right. My auntie's a dragon skull summit. I do start off with dungeon guys. I have a swamp and an island. I don't think is good enough. I'm a mulligan. Dark ritual in an island. Mulligan. Uh, lots of mana and like nothing to do with it. Keep hand. Olivia? I don't always understand what's going on there. Did she go to the bottom? Oh no, she was on the top. Okay, good. Uh, swamp. Vanilla Shiro 2-2 two -two banding. I'm just gonna race. Let's keep getting in there. Oh, there's another crusade. Oh, I got Dark Ritual. I could Dark Ritual into Olivia. Excellent. Attack here three. Cast Dark Ritual. Bring out Olivia. Did you step one into the battlefield? Third creature gains protection from color of your choice in a turn. Okay. Red? Banalish Cavalry. That's a big flanker. But I can fly into the air and kill you. Die. Yes! Give me treasure! <laughs> Yagmoth's bargain! Four black black, skip your draw step, pay one life to draw a card. That could actually be incredibly powerful. At six mana, you're nor you normally think like, at six, like how are you ever going to cast it? But at six mana... At that late enough in the game, your hand's probably empty, and you can spend life to draw extra cards. Super good. Would I actually put that into this deck? I don't know. I don't know if I would have won. I was really hoping to find a soul ring. I'm going to be real with you. That'd be the most helpful one out of this. Okay, nothing there. There might be a little treasure spot right there, I feel. I don't have any other dice to give myself an advantage, so I'll just do it straight up. Let's go. Do I get a good opening hand? Three mana, murder, abyssal specter. That's acceptable. Yeah, mulligan, mulligan! I can start off with my tap land. You get a life! Plus another swamp. Probably should have played the island so I could play Esper Stormblade, Jared, you dumbass idiot. 
Why are you so dumb? Island. Uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll start putting creatures down. Oh, and he's white, so he actually gets plus one, plus one. Hell yeah! Thanks for the help, my dude. I just almost cast murder. I was trying to put the swamp down. Ah. Go Abyssal Specter because I love handed. Angry Mob. 2-2. Two, two. As long as your turn, his power and toughness equals to 2 the number of swamps my opponent controls. Well, that's pretty big. I might need to murder that. Especially since he has Trample. Yeah, I think I'm going to murder it. Can destroy the Exorcist, which can destroy target black creature. Yeah, go away. And murder. Plus rats. I'm doing it. Another angry mob. Uh, if I play the swamp, the angry mob gets bigger. But if I play the swamp, I can also cast Neferox. I can attack in the air for 5 damage. I can also cast Kiri, or Miri, sorry, get in for 8 damage. Which puts him at lethal for like 3 different sources. Yeah. Miri's the better play here. Sorry, what did you just block? Oh, you blocked Esper Stormblade. Oh, that's fine. I can work with that. Uh... Can I find a, uh... Damn. I used the divination on the slight chance I can find my delusions of mediocrity to gain some life. It just showed up. I would have stalled to play it, but oh well. There's another treasure! I'll beat the last guy. Let's go! Island, mountain, dark ritual. My auntie's the doom blade. I do have Icarus Lick that I can cycle away. I do have divination. Is keepable enough? I don't think it is. I'm all good. One mountain, one island. I'm all again, again. Fuck me, dude. This is really bad. Oh my god. These were rough mulligans. Yep, can't do anything. Get me for three. Fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Not like this. Oh, man. That sucks. I mean, that's magic. Not my fault. Maybe I could have kept the hand with the divination in there. Ugh, defeat the centaur war chief for three white amulets? Uh, I just saw one. If I kill him, it might make me feel better. Come here. Yeah, come on, man. Whatever. Oh, you have 20 life. Is this hand any better? Back which will mountain Olivia. Yeah, it's great. Oh boy. I'm, I'm still upset about that last one. Uh, the Bone Splitter Axe? Onto the lion to make it to a 4 1? Jesus, dude! Have you new chill? Cast Dark Ritual. Cast Olivia. And then I'm going to shoot and kill that lion with Olivia. You dumb piece of shit. As long as he is equipped, he gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance. Immediately equips it. Cute. Wind? I also have Paralyzing Grasp, but I think... I think just shooting the lions and making her bigger is the better way to go right now. Because if he attacks, I'll tap it down. Or just doesn't attack. Duation Soldier. Is your, uh, is your whole thing... Giving everyone vigilance. 
That looks like that's your uh your thing. Archon of Justice? 4-4 four, four flying when it dies, exile target permanent. Maybe I'll tap that down. Change my mind. Good damage. Um, bang. Now we're 5-5. Five, five. Jesus Christ. He's... Well, I am going to play the Muckrats because it's at least another blocker. Equipped to the Bone Splitter of Justice. Or the Archon of Justice. Now it's the Bone Splitter of Justice. Keep shooting your dudes. More Swamp. Uh, I'm actually going to play the Delusions of Mediocrity right now. Because having 10 extra life sounds really nice to have. Re-equips it. Doesn't attack. What's going on? Puts it okay, you're just putting that axe all, all over the place. What a what a good time. How can I get that thing to tap itself? I don't know. Maybe I can uh just keep activating Olivia until she's just so big that uh, he'll just die. She's up to an eight eight. That's not nothing. My hand is struggling. Another Leon and Dengard. Rips it over onto that for some reason. Yeah, I'll activate Olivia. And we'll start, just keep shooting your dudes. Eventually, I'll have uh, enough sources I can activate her three times. Maybe actually kill one of your things. Now she's a 10 10. How big can we go? Uh, we'll play the Stealer of Secrets. Just at least get another creature down. Island. You know, I wonder if I actually... I think if I cast... Or I actually killed Archon of Justice, if you would actually exile my... thing of mediocrity to make me lose the life instead. Rather than killing Olivia. Like, I don't know what the, uh... Computer's thought process would be. Uh, I activate Master of Way because I, my hand is full. So I can blast you for seven. Healing salve. He gains three life. All right. Another Archon of Justice. All right, Jared. What's your plan now? Ass hat. Skelly. Right, so apprentice. Well, as long as it's equipped, it gets plus one, plus one, and flying. Going to put an axe on there. Um, I'll kill it. Phew. Look at that. Jesus Christ, these cards. Uh, Zeppelin, because I need another flyer. Goblin Tungler, target creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. Ooh, can't have that. I'm going to kill him now. If she could activate it to make something can't be blocked, then equip him after he's already unblockable and start getting in for a lot of damage. This should not be as difficult as it is 
yet here we are. <sighs> Can I cycle cast this? It'd be a total of what? Six mana? I've got six. Yeah, so we're going to cycle this. So I get to draw a new card. And then I'm going to cast its madness cost. Give you minus three, minus three, and kill you. And I draw Dungeon Geist. Oh, Dungeon Geist is perfect, because I can activate Dungeon Geist to tap down one of the Archons of Justice. That way I never need to worry about it um, attacking me or whatever. And I can paralyze the Grasp it. And there's Nefarox. Hell yeah. Alright, get some shit to work. Cast Dungeon Geist. Tap down you forever. Okay. Um, I'll attack with my 11-11. Block, crosses it, gets rid of Olivia. Perfect. Because now I can play uh, Nephrox next turn. It'll be fine. And with Dungeon Guy still there, he has no flying defenders. Nope. He gets another Goblin Tunneler. I'm going to kill you before you get an opportunity to do your shit. Never Fast you. And he has Exalted. Uh, but I also have the Stronghold Zeppelins. I'll attack with both in the air for six. There we go. Your hand's empty. And I've got nothing but spells for days. Fucking all my flyers. Fuck you. There. What are you? Wind in the Biting Gale? A 3 3 flash flyer, and I could play blue and a black in one life to return it back to my hand? That's pretty good. Another flyer? Demonic Tutor, Mox Pearl, and Time Walk in the Tower of Wim, though? Uh, I kind of want the, the creature. Let's take the card. There we go. And I get three white amulets. Yay! What was it called? The Wingading? Wid, what, Widen, Widwen, Wide, Widwen? Ah, she's pretty good. A little bit easier cast than Stronghold Zeppelin. And it has Flash. So I can cast her at instant speed. That's super cool. All right. Well, I also got that, uh, Yogmoth Black Enchantment. Is that worth putting in? Maybe not in the dungeons, since, uh, you know, a little difficult to deal with paying, losing life. All right. All right, well, that was one dungeon. Let's go and try for the other still. All right, yeah, that's what we'll plan on for the, the next episode. But here, I at least did get one dungeon. Got three extra amulets by fighting the stupid Minotaur. Have some more fallen creatures. Not bad. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.